Okay, this test is to kind of try to explain what this library does. Um, a lot of people on the internet seem to be having some problems with understanding the use case for this project and library. Okay, so this new demo, I already have an add-on instruction uh, definition export file. And I am loading that file up, accessing the first add-on instruction in it, and I am generating um, push buttons for every single input parameter that is of type pool. I could overload it for, you know, real or uh, really any data type, and then I could do like a recursive loop so that I could handle UDPs and stuff like that. And then I output that screen to this folder. I do a little bit of cleanup work. Um, and then I, uh, I build the import file for RS logic. So here's my definition file. I do have one dent in here, but uh, I haven't handled that, so it will not do anything with that. I also have local tags in here, but I am not doing local tags yet. It's just a quick demo. Um, so I have my add-on instruction. I export my add-on instruction. And I'll just I'll just dump it right here, test AOI. And I'll replace that. Then I'll come in here just to make sure. There's no files in here. I'm going to run this program. And it has created two files. One is the, the batch import. Just instruct the import process with files to load. And this is the actual screen file that it made. Um, so, if I go over here to factory talk, I have no screens. I'm going to come in here, say import graphic multiple displays, then I'm going to choose, uh, I guess I have a typo there, bath import test, supposed to be batch. Uh, then I hit finish, uh, I got no errors, and now I have a screen. Each one has a group with a label called, with the input output name, I did not set the values yet. Um, that would just be a matter of uh, passing in uh, values for uh, probably templating or parameter screens. So it would probably be something like, and then pound one, and then dot uh, enable. Something like that. That wouldn't be too hard to change. In fact, if you guys wanted to see how to change that, in here on my HMI, uh, all I have to do is add the connection. So, what I'm going to do is come up here.
the name here. And the connection is and then we need to add the IO name address and then and the reference and pretty sloppy code okay here we go so that should do it Let's see if we broke it compiled and ran I just want to make sure all the objects have been updated. Import. Yes. And multiple displays. Path import test. And it looks like it worked. But did it update the connections? Yes, it did. There you go. I am now generating a faceplate for any add-on instruction. It doesn't matter what the add-on instruction does. You would, you would. Now this is a very simple elementary example, but with some work, uh, you could have a tool that takes your add-on instruction definition uh, directly to a faceplate and just. Just to give you an example of that, uh, I'm going to create a new add-on instruction. I'm going to call this uh, screen test. Just because I'm recording right now, so I'm going to create uh, uh, a bool and. Uh, I'm going to create uh, interlock and create that a pool. And then I'm going to create uh, more pools. And then I'm going to save that, export that. I do have to change. I have the file hard tested. So. Okay. I'm going to run that. Appears to run fine. And I'm going to import the new set of files that it's made. So I want this one. No errors. And there we have objects based on our definition. And uh I mean, we could we could set up rules based on you know if it's an input, you put it over here. Output over here. Uh, you could do like uh, visibility on it, where you have like tabs, inputs, outputs, local variables. Really, it's just a matter of development time uh, to get what you want. 